In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a handling fee to your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here I am on my cart checkout page about to check out this hoodie um, a product here. And as you can see, I've selected my shipping method. And then here we are on a cart page. We can see this handling fee. In the back end, I've set up a 2% handling fee based on the cart total. So we can see this is a cart total. And here we're just adding that 2% handling fee as well. You can also add a custom um, description here to let users know why that extra fee is there. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and then go ahead and select from the plugin section here, the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. Go ahead and download that once you've done so. Then you want to head over to your dashboard, navigate to plugin, add new, install the plugin. Once you've activated the plugin, then you'll see this WooSuite tab here. Then you want to navigate down to where it says dynamic pricing rules. Once you've done that, let me go ahead and X this off and I'll walk you through exactly why it is I've set up here. So yours will look similar to this. You want to navigate to checkout fees. And then once you're on this page, just go ahead and hit pricing group, add new pricing group. And then here we will enter in our title. So this is for internal purposes only. So you can add multiple um, different handling fees based on different users or different criteria. So this is why you might want to add um, a different title for internal purposes. So you know exactly what each rule is there for. And then this is the text that we saw on the checkout. So currently by default, it says checkout fees. You'd want to go ahead and change this to something more relevant to what it is you're doing. I'm going to set mine to handling fee. So this is what the customer will see. And then here we've got an option so we can base it off the cart total or the number of item um, within the basket. So I'm just going to select cart total for now. And then the fee that we're going to charge will be um, based on the cart total or it can be a fixed amount if you want. So for example, if you just wanted to charge a flat fee of $10 or whatever it is, you can go ahead and do that. But I think in most cases you'll probably choose... Um, the percentage adjustment. So here again, just like I mentioned earlier, so I'm going to set this to 2%. You don't need to add the percent sign, just add 2 for 2%. And then the conditions, navigate to the conditions section here. And in the future, we'll be adding loads more conditions. So currently, the most popular um, ones that we're seeing is based on either the payment method or the shipping method. So this way, you'll be able to reach um, the specific customer in which you need. So for example, I'm going to select shipping method here and then it says condition in. So this rule will run whenever a user's in when they select these particular shipping methods. So for example, I'll select flat rate. So these are the shipping method that I've configured on my site. So if you've got different shipping options, then you'll see it here as well. So we'll just go ahead and select all the shipping method. So essentially, um, in my scenario here, I'm targeting all users, right? Because I'm adding this fee to all the shipping method. So regardless of which shipping method a user selects, then they'll be charged this handling fee here. So I'll go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, and that's saved fine. If you want as well, you can, as I said, you can target um, different user groups and so on. In that case, you just click add pricing group again. And then you just enter, do a similar setup to what we did on the first one. So I'll just X this off. And here, when we go um, to our cart page, so I'll just refresh this page. And here you can see our cart fees working fine. Let's just adjust this just to double check. And then I'm going to change this text here as well, just to make sure it's working as it should. Uh, let's just say test, right? test handling fee. And then let's hit save changes. So we've changed the handling fee um, name and we've also increased the handling fee as well so let's go ahead and refresh this cart page so here you can see the increased amount in the handling fee and also this new label here for our handling fee as well and there you have it that's how you set up a handling fee within woocommerce in just a few simple steps so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this 
and leave a comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.